ChatGPT can really accelerate the process of taking your YouTube video transcripts and turning them into articles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. Now make sure you watch the end of the video because that's where I'm gonna be sharing the tips that are gonna help you to ensure that these article slash transcripts are actually ranking in search. And obviously in that, at that point, able to drive you leads. So let's get into it. One. My name is Frank, I'm the founder of Saga Pixel. If you follow me on LinkedIn, you've heard me talk a lot about how I've taken this whole video to article strategy, how we've been doing it for our clients and for ourselves to tremendous effect. Real quick, why should you even care about this? Video drives trust, but text drives traffic, which means you need both. The truth is that at the end of this process, if you have those videos embedded in your blog with search optimized, transcripts below them. Very few people are actually going to read the transcript, but lots of them are going to watch the videos. And they're going to come away from those videos with a much stronger impression of who you are, who your company is, than they ever would have just reading an article. All right, so let's get into this process. So this was a video that I published last week. I'm in the back end. You're going to go over to where you edit the content. We're going to go down the subtitles and we are going to grab the transcript. We're gonna go over to ChatGPT and I actually have a GPT that I built that you can use to turn your transcripts into articles. I'm putting this bit.ly on the screen. If you want to use this GPT, it's publicly available. All right, so I have my entire script there. All that I need to do is paste it right here. Hit enter and ChatGPT is gonna do its thing. So as you can see, ChatGPT is doing, doing its thing. It's adding the punctuation, it's starting new paragraphs, it's adding headings, and now I have the fully outputted transcript, but now formatted in a way that would make sense on our blog. All right, so I have copy and pasted it into the back end of WordPress. A couple of things that you're gonna notice is that it has headings, but none of them have any sort of HTML markup. And for whatever reason, it adds those hashtags like uh, you just saw. So the first thing I'm gonna need to do is go through here and start adding some HTML markup. Next thing, I want to embed the actual video. So I'm gonna go back there, copy that, and I'm gonna put this right at the beginning of my article. Next, I wanna really review all of my headings and make sure that we're using semantically related language. So for example, this title here, I'm not in love with different platforms for different purposes. I would say that something better would be something like um, Instagram versus TikTok for marketing your med spa. I'm also seeing that I have this section is broken up by Instagram and then TikTok. It might make sense actually to add Instagram for medical. And then I'm gonna mark this up as an H3. And then further down, I had TikTok. All right, you know what? Another way, uh, may, maybe a better way to put this would be Instagram is where you engage with your existing c clientele. TikTok is where you get discovered. Now there are also some stylistic things that I'm gonna add. We on our blog never put up walls of text. Here, for example, you'll see that some of these paragraphs are kind of on the long end. I'm gonna go in here and start breaking these up just to make all of this a little bit more digestible. Add right there. Okay, this is just so much more digestible like this than the big wall of text that we had originally. Finally, we've got to add some internal links. WordPress makes this really easy, so I can go over here and find articles that are about these topics already. Start by looking for what sound like those keywords, like I had SEO for medical spas. I, mean, I happen to know that SEO for medical. Like I know that we have articles on these topics already, so add in that link there. Occasionally, you're gonna run into a situation where you know you have an article that is related to uh, this article, uh, and you really want to call people's attention to it, or maybe you just don't have a way to link to it, just to work it in. So like we have an article on keywords for medical spas, and I really, the word keyword wasn't used anywhere in this entire piece. So what I'm gonna do here is something like interested in SEO keywords for med spas. Check out our article. All right, and I'm gonna link to it right keyword. 
So this video is basically ready to publish, but my work isn't done there. To start, we've set up our taxonomy in a way where we have tags for each one of the industries that we do articles about. So when this article goes live, it's going to have an entire feed of articles on the right sidebar that are also about marketing a medical spa. So the great thing about this is this new article is going to link to all of the existing articles. And likewise, all the existing articles will have a link going over to this article that I just published. This means it's gonna pass page rank over to it, which is gonna help that page to be seen as being more authoritative by Google. It's gonna help Google to actually find the article as it's crawling all of the other articles. It will eventually find this one and crawl it. But the last, last step is I wanna find opportunities in all of these articles to link with strategic anchor text within the actual body of the content. When you link to an article from the body of your content, it's actually weighed more heavily by Google than links that come from a sidebar, footer, or top level navigation. So I'm gonna go over to the Medical Spa SEO article that Ashley from our staff wrote. And instead of shoehorning in, we don't, I don't think this article talks about social at all. So I'm just going to talk about how, I'm gonna call out the, the other article. Uh, just similarly to how I did before. Interested in how SEO compares to social media. Check out our SEO versus social media for I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please consider giving a like, especially if you end up using our GPT. And I really do hope that it helps streamline this whole process for you. One, two, three.